In composing Rigoletto, uh, Verdi gave one of his catchiest tunes to the immoral duke. This tune, when it was new, became so popular that it was whistled on the streets by everyone. Today, with different lyrics, you can hear this tune sung all over. Knowing that you have to sing La Donna Immobile, it's always a pleasure because it's such a, a funny, a fun aria, you know, and the people love it. I think it's one of the most well-known arias. One of the reasons for the popularity of the aria is that it's so simple. Four bar phrases. Dum, 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 da, dum. But it also has a wonderful trajectory to the high note. Even I can sing it. Most tenors have interpolated a famous devil may care high note. Verdi gave the tenor a lot of fantastic show stopping tunes. Some of that, of course, has to do with our fascination with the Duke and his beauty and his ease comes through the music. But the Duke is far from the heroic figure we expect from tenors in operas. He's warped and depraved and almost difficult to watch for us audiences. It's a very exciting piece. Faust, for me, is, uh, it's a beautiful role. I loved to experience, uh, to behold. How that, does it feel to be hold? How you should move? The voice, it has uh, a full uh, circle of life. I really love Faust. Uh, it's a complete uh, character, and I actually love the fact uh, of his, this music. I like the decadent aspect of this uh, of this play. Performance is the moment when you push yourself. I always try to find a way to make opera even more interesting uh, and have that uh, X factor, that, uh, that wow factor. Reactions were very nice and very warm in London. There is always something new that you learn in every production. During rehearsals, our cameras followed Vittorio Grigolo, the Duke of Mantua. Rigoletto, act turn, and action. Vittorio Grigolo is made to play the Duke. He's a very creative artist who loves when you set the challenge. And action. He's young and energetic and has the angel devil about him. The Duke has many faces for me. It has many aspects, especially in this production. It seems to appreciate heaven as he can appreciate hell. 
is bored of this humanity around himself. So he wants to feel something that is not human, trying to find the edge. And suddenly he finds the edge with this pure uh, lady. Actually, he's even more over the edge when he knows that, uh, that Gilda is the daughter of Rigoletto. It's a good guy, but suddenly becomes bad guy. It's love guy, and then suddenly he wants to go with Maddalena and uh, share his love uh, in a way that is not so pure. The Duke is delicious. Everybody loves to hate the Duke. <laughs> he is the opposite of Rigoletto. Everything on the outside belies what is actually on the inside. He is insatiable. He is deeply, deeply destructive. Destructive force of nature. And yet, he's at the center of the world. He's at the most powerful position. He's able to do what he wants, when he wants, to whoever he wants. It's a fantasy character. And yet, of course, they exist. <laughs> just, again, no, no. We're doing this down. game like I'm putting her all the wine from the cup. Exactly. So she's gonna be wine all over. Very sexy. Hardcore. Each moment reflects a, a different state of the soul. So it is uh, very important for me to not give everything and really work on the character and the, and the many faces of this uh, very complex soul. <laughs> Duke, and he's like a devil. He has no fear. It's part of my character. It's part of Vittorio. Rigoletto is an opera that it's sparkling with energy. Singing this role brings me always lots of memories. I lived with the character during the many rehearsals. Sometimes during my normal life, I do something like the, the Duke would do. Very good day. I've been in the Sistine Chapel Choir for, uh, for five years and I've been the soloist. But the opera, it has always been my dream. To sing and open my mouth in the opera, I always thought that it was, uh, I, it was something magic. My first appearance was actually in Tosca in 1990. It's a long time ago. It feels like today for me. I mean, everything, uh, the color, everything, the smell of the theater. Calling for Rigoletto. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the quarter hour call. Everything is still there, the preparation. This is your call to the stage, please. Miss Gaspar, Mr. Grigolo, Mr. Bemsch, Mr. Kim, the seven call. ladies of the chorus, the full and extra gentlemen's chorus. The second before the music starts. That's the difference between a performance and a rehearsal. When the curtain opens, it's the magic. Kids, Arda, Walter, go. Zeta Strom, Lester Morrissey, Duke, Lawson. 